A couple details here. Yeah. If you want to know. Yeah, I want to know all of it. Well, if you can get an aerial shot somehow, I don't know which way your uh, your uh, window. Uh, how far do you want me to go up? Well, on the top of the van, there's actually this zipper, and you can kind of see the start of it here. That covers up our original logo, which was a hammer. And uh, that was a nod to our original company name. We, we're still incorporated as Rod Iron Brewing Company. Okay. So uh, three recovering engineers. We thought that we would be this stoic, masculine, you know, forging tradition and we're, we're some kind of... And then Breakhouse, a design agency, uh, circa... They were, they were designing our tap room, and three weeks before we opened our, our brewery, they said, we just can't let you call yourselves wrought iron brewing. It's just not working. Um, they saw us more as drunk robots. Drunk robot? Why? Because you're all engineers. Yeah. Former engineers okay. who were maybe, you know, uh, a little bit sloppy, a little bit fun. Okay. And uh, by the way, there's, uh, there's me in the... Uh, in the executive office, uh, drinking brandy and smoking cigars. That's you? Yeah. <laughs> separated, That's hilarious. Separated at birth. So this was uh, artwork done by Sarah Pancho and Kyle Bridget. Sarah did the overall concept of uh, one of those sort of 1960s ray guns. Yeah, yeah, The yeah. plastic ray yeah. guns. And then Kyle did this tearaway that uh, is a very much an homage to his Mad Magazine uh, yeah. days. Yeah. A crowd scene. It's got a, yeah, it's got Mad Magazine and Futurama right. kind of all over it. Yeah. 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 And it's, it's kind of, the whole yeah. thing is sort of uh, symbolic of our company in general, I think. Yeah. In that it's, uh, it's <laughs> overall, it's got this kind of pretty outside package. Yeah. But when you tear away and yeah. look inside, it's absolute pandemonium. Like every business. Like every business. Every yeah. business is just messy. I love it. This is very cool. Yeah. So there's a lot of fun. So, so that's how you got to be good robot brewing. That is Because these we guys were like, no, you can't, can't name yourself that. Yeah. They wanted it to be drunk robot. Drunk robot. That'd be even better. It, I, I liked the name a lot. Yeah. I don't think alcohol and gaming division would have loved it. Yeah. So um, over the next 24 hours, ironically on a bar hop or coincidentally, should say. Uh, yeah. We decided with good robot. Okay. Um, just capturing some of the implicitly humanistic traits that we liked about people. This is him. Apparently that's me. Oh, yeah, it looks like you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's, that's a vibe I get. Uh -huh. Or maybe even that, I don't know. Yeah, the guy drinking and... Yeah. I, with well, a I heard you, gun? I heard you talking with today, with so I'm, I can go either way. <laughs> can even be that guy. Definitely this guy. No, this guy maybe. Yeah. This guy maybe. Could be that guy. Could be that Could guy. Be this I don't know guy. Why Definitely you... that guy. Every entrepreneur is that guy. I yeah. don't know why you manifest yourself with the Cyclops. Because both those guys, both the guys that we picked out Could are Cyclops. Could be that guy. Well, this guy, you know, is, I think, working too hard for me. These, these days, <laughs> I tend to be, uh, <laughs> you know, you don't want me near anything <clears throat> expensive. Whether it's the finance themselves or the assets that they acquire. Here, that's a classic entrepreneur shoveling shit. Yeah, that, yeah. that, that was yeah. me for many years. That, that's, yeah. their, that's a picture of every entrepreneur. Yeah, it's that wraps it up right there. Yeah, it's true, yeah. it's true. Oh, yeah. that's awesome. Yeah. I love this, man. This is great. Yeah, lots of fun touches here. Yeah, it's cool. You know, some definitely. You're local, the, like a PEI local? Or you, or Halifax. You, Halifax. Yeah. So you're about two, what's that, three hours? Something like that? Yeah, about three and a half. That's very cool. And yeah, now we're in uh, PEI LC, which is cool. I love. Um, oh, I love know, it. There's a couple stories on here too. The um, support your local and library. Uh huh. That's. Uh, that sounds like a late night. We, we called. Uh, we had an event called Silent Reading. We still do it. It's two hours, no phones, no oh, talking. Drink beer, read books. Okay. And we called it uh, the Imbibrary when the space would okay. go quiet. It was kind of a trip to see. 60 people drinking in complete silence. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody talking. <laughs> Nobody talking. And actually still reading or flipping yeah. pages. Yeah. All reading. Sort of reading. Yeah. By the Most sixth period, you're not really reading. <coughs> well, that's the kind of thing, right? After 90 minutes, you, the great thing you're was drinking, introverts. For sure. Right? And yeah. now they had introverts like hanging out. They just need something to talk about. 
So after yeah. 90 minutes sitting next to someone, they're reading what the title yeah. of the book is, whatever, they have something to talk yeah. about. Yeah. And it's now no longer engaging. small talk. You can actually have a conversation. Uh, Bingo. Okay. Without having to massively right. think about it. And my wife's an introvert. Yeah. Okay. So it's, it's not um, like I can talk about, like you, probably, pretty much anything. <laughs> I want to talk about the tires. I don't know about tires, but we can make up a story anyway. Oh, I, absolutely. Right? They're mostly made of dreams. 